Clive, John, thank you for joining us. I wanted to touch on on the calendar first and foremost, Clive, and I can see it hanging up behind you there on the wall. Uh, it's been a great success. Tell me about the, the, the thought process that went behind creating this. Yeah, it was something I, I thought about doing last back end of last year. Um, so I started putting a few ideas together and uh, over Christmas and the new year, back of last year, thought it would be quite easy to get it out. Um, bounced a few ideas off John early in the, in the new year, didn't we, John? Um, yeah. And with it, being, with it being that team from the 1991, it just seemed really natural that the money that we raised from it should go to one of the sort of the former players. Um, and Gary was top of the list this year. Yeah, I mean, we all we're, we're all still following Gary's sad story, um, and and he's he's carrying on regardless, Gary, and he's just seen a remarkable guy. Oh, he does, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's a tragedy what's happened to Gary, and um, we all know the story. Um, and what Clive's done here is magnificent, you know, because he's he, he come up with this idea. I saw a few proofs. Um, I thought, yeah, it's a great idea. He's financed it himself, made no money. Everything's going to park here. I think the first um, set he sold out within, you know, weeks, and now he's gone to the second one. Um, and the calendar, it is, it is really good calendar. Oh, we were happy to jump on board as a club, John, because it, uh, of the of the reasoning behind it, and it doesn't really clash with anything in terms of what the club does. But it's a great cause. That's the first and foremost thing. And of course, the, the iconic picture, Clive will have it there. The John Deary one, he's in there himself, jumping two tackles. I always remember John as. As a really sort of hard tackling, no nonsense. And every time he got, every sort of time he, he moved forward, you always knew he was going to shoot or get stuck in. He was one of the players that you knew that when he got the ball, you were always going to get a great picture. There was always a chance with him. Something unexpected could happen. So, yeah. We look back at that side. I mean, some of the players, I mean, we were, we were one, arguably one of our lowest ebbs at that point in the fourth division. But some of those players still trip off the tongue today to generations of Burnley fans. You know, the likes of yourself, Chris Pearce, Roger Eli, John Francis. Uh, these are these are iconic names. Roger Eli's obviously become a cult hero at Burnley for, for, for not many appearances in, in total. It's, it's been a side that people have, have still embraced down the years. Yeah, because it, it, it's a long time ago. Um, but I think at the time, when I first come to the football club, it was rebuilding the side um, and you know it did need improvement and then gradually it got better um, and then that season we did go up most of the fans who attended the matches that time had a good time you know we, we did play sort of attacking football obviously you know we were winning most matches so it was it was a good season for everyone each time we delivered them people could name nearly all the team it was never yeah. this team isn't just about I know that we've got the sort of the cult heroes, but they would name nearly all the team straight away. And there's a connection with the whole, the collective, the whole group and the manager. And, and I think that was what was really sort of special about that team. Even though promotion wasn't gained that season, uh, the team is held in a it's sort of a very special uh, part of the Burnley fans' hearts because it was the collective, the whole group. And Clive, the calendar has been a success already. I know you still at the first batch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Batch now, fans can still get hold of this, can't they? Yeah, they can. Um, they can just either uh, email me uh, directly, and I'll I'll sort it out with them, um, or they can contact me on Facebook or social or Twitter. They cost fifteen pounds each, and if they want the posting, that's an extra five pounds. But yeah, more than happy to uh, get the them out. We've got about seventy left, and uh, we're hoping we're going to get rid of all of them before Christmas. I mean, we'd had heartbreak this season of the calendar in 1991 with meetings in the playoffs and 12 months later, boy, boy, did we bounce back. Yeah, it was just a progression. Um, obviously, that season we were, we, I don't think we were good enough, but we were, we were climbing and, you know, it, I think, was it Torquay that knocked us out? Yeah, yeah. Over two legs and, you know, that was, that was um, terrible. You know, the pre-season there, you know, to be knocked out of that, it takes some recovery um, but then we come back stronger. It was slow for us to start, but then it kicked on, um, you know, and then it was, you know, it was coming. And then coming up to Christmas time, you know, it, it was more or less embedded in all the lads that, you know, we want to get up as champions. We're definitely going up, but we want to go up as champions. And it was, yeah, around Christmas time that, you know, we were looking at the championship. It, it all culminates, of course, in an amazing night at York. Uh, we, we still show the goals 
you know, pretty much build up on match days to, to that era because it, it, it's such oh. an iconic moment in time. That that goal at York. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because um, I remember it was a strange feeling because the, the match got um, delayed because there was so many Burnley fans coming. Um, the police advised, you know, everyone to um, like delay the kickoff. I don't know, how, I can't remember how long it was for, but it was at least for an hour. I didn't get in until half time. All oh, right. Did you we go on your bike? when I got in. <laughs> 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 no, but um, it messes up your routine because every footballer has a routine. You know, I put my shin pads on a certain time, I put my boots on a certain time, and then, and then you're getting ready, and then the referee, you, you'd hear a knock on the door. Referee comes and says, right, guys, you know, we, the police have advised us. So it messed up all the routine. Um, I don't think we started well. Uh, obviously, we went a goal down, and uh, but we were all confident, you know, and, um, and in the end, it just, it was meant to be, to be honest, because, you know, it, it was meant to be, and it, it was a great night out for, you know, for everyone, the town of Burnley, it was a great, great night. It was indeed. John, it's been fantastic catching up with you again. Clive, Good luck and well done with the uh, with the calendar and donations to Gary Parkinson. I know that the Gary Parkinson Trust will be delighted to receive that cash. And uh, we all wish Gary well as we approach Christmas and a, a tough time of year for many families. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers, Darren. Cheers, Clive. Take Thanks, care. Bye.